Joining me now is the host of the Michael Savage Show podcast, Dr. Michael Savage. Michael, great to see you on this Thursday. You know, the left, they seem obsessed with trying to rewrite history, which is why they're pushing CRT. These people are the most dangerous losers in the history of this nation. Jen, thanks for having me on. This whole myth of meritocracy that they're teaching, they're teaching that merit and individualism is an example of whiteness. These are sick, demented losers. I'll make it simple. Here's a model I know you like, props. It's an you have a prop this week, I'm so glad. There you go, <laughs> FA-18 Hornet, Blue Angels airplane. Who do you think becomes a Blue Angel pilot? Someone who struggles to beat the other great pilots, someone with great individualism, someone who has great merit in the ability to fly these things within a few feet of the next airplane in formation. If these psychopaths are not stopped and shut up, we'll reach a point where the airplanes will not have pilots, never mind in the military. You'll have no one being able to fly an airplane. No one will be able to pilot a Navy ship. A surgeon will not know which arteries to cut or not to cut. It is total and absolute madness. CRT is not only so racist. Michael, yeah. Go ahead. Don't let me cut no, you off. It's not only madness. Who is driving this racist stuff that this is based on whiteness, the ability to succeed to fly a plane like this? Turn it back on these fools. That's whiteness? Well, let's talk about the NFL. Who rises to the top of the NFL? the best football players, based on what? Merit and individualism and the desire to beat the other guy. Who is it who beats the other man in a boxing match? Whether it's Muhammad, Muhammad Ali in his day or whoever it is today. Who was it? The man who wants to beat the other man through merit and individualism. These people are maniacs. They're sick. They're dismantling the United States of America. And every parent needs to speak out the way I'm speaking out tonight on the Jen Pellegrino show. I cannot take this anymore. It's insanity. Hey, Jen, I it's crazy. I like that new title. That's that's a, that's a good one, Michael. But you know, what, what's it going to take, though? To to you see parents obviously speaking out, they're voting. Um, what's it going to take to to turn this around and and eradicate this CRT that's you know invading all aspects of our lives? Not by not being intimidated by these losers. They never belonged in the university system to begin with. I said this 20 years ago. Once you let people into a university who didn't get there based on merit. Once they can't keep up, they'll start screaming it's racist because they can't keep up. So what you do is you lose all your ability to do chemistry, mathematics, physics, the hard sciences, and you have this garbage being taught as an actual legitimate subject when it is not. It is nothing but destructive ideology. The day will come, and people listening to this show should pay close attention to me. I've had this prayer book with me since I'm 13 years old, given to me by my grandmother. The day will come, if it hasn't come already, where these losers will declare that the Bible is an example of whiteness. It's an example of whiteness and privilege, and the book should be burned because it's only for white men. These people are sick, but they're dangerous. How do you stop them? By getting in their face and telling them to shut up. Ask them about the NFL. Ask them about who succeeds as a fighter. Ask them who so will fly So you're saying on they need to take, take the Maxine Waters approach. Get in their faces. <laughs> who is but she? She just jawbones everybody <laughs> with her big mouth and scares everybody with her big mouth. People have big mouths. They can get in her face and tell her to shut up. Who's going to fly the airplane she flies on tomorrow if she keeps this up? And you know, here's another little story people don't know. Fidel Castro, dictator, murderer, all around bad guy, Cuban dictator. Mm -hmm. You know, when he got sick, he didn't use Cuban doctors. He flew Jewish doctors in from the University of Miami. That's what CRT was in Cuba. People know reality, but they're putting up with this garbage because they're afraid of the Maxine right. Water big mouths. I have a lot more to say, and we are facing Michael? very dangerous times. We are, and I hope to continue this conversation with you next week because, unfortunately, we've run out of time. Michael, you know it's always a pleasure. And two props tonight versus one. Two. We appreciate because you, you so much. Blue Angels, nobody will be able to fly <laughs> You always deliver, my friend, every time. Have a great night.